This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7, in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled, for such things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. This is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 8, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Wakar Kadash. Uh, double honors to the elders of reaching this word, truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to you, uh, Akim out there. <laughs> and these are uh, three, three uh, news articles I'm about to bring out in reference to the scripture that I just brought out. And the first one was I recently did already as well, too. I guess this is like an update of it. And this is from the Jerusalem Post uh, by Reuters, published as of january 31st uh 2023 and it reads russia Bolivia stark joint military staff training and it says russia and Bolivia has started a week long session of staff training for the joint command of their regional grouping of forces the uh Bolivia's, the Bolivia Bolivia's in defense uh minister said on tuesday the training is part of preparation for joint drills the two countries will hold in russia in september the minister added in a in its statement and yeah, bring out another news article salakia And this is a uh, I think fucking bring it back up. So lucky. Uh, so lucky about that. Uh, this is a second news article. It says uh, from uh, MSN.com, and this is from Tom O'Connor as of yesterday, 3:18 p.m. And this this is from Newsweek, and it reads. Uh, facing drone strikes, Iran warns any U.S. military action means war. It says, in the wake of a drone attack against at least one defense factory in the central city of Istanbul, Iran, yeah, because that was like a few days ago, officials told Newsweek that any military option pursued by the United States against this Islamic Republic would result in an all-out conflict with the regional ramification. And I believe uh, Anthony Blinken had a uh, conference because he had uh, took a trip to the Middle East, I believe, for a couple of days. And he was mentioning that the uh, United States had no, had no involvement with the uh, attempt of the drone attack of the Iran facility in that region over there that happened a couple of days ago. And Iran, I mean, Israel said the same thing as well, too. 
So Iran potentially accusing it, uh, Israel or the United States of that drone strike in their uh, ammunition weaponry facility. And according to Iran, they were saying uh, they sending a warning to uh, the United States and Israel, just like Russia has sent that, because I did a sit down lesson on that as well too. And Russia sent a vowed threat to the United States and uh, Israel, because you know uh, Russia and Iran, you know they are allies with one another, so they both sent warnings, vice versa, to Iran, uh, to uh, Israel and the United States. Now you got right here. Uh, says facing drone strikes potentially Iran warns any US military action means war yep and it says in the, in the wake of the drone strike against at least one defense factory in the central city of I, I, some, if I pronounce that right Iranian officials told News Weekly that any military group option pursued by the United States against the Islamic Republic will result in an all-out conflict with regional ramifications. And continuing on, it says, while the U.S. military has denied any role in the attack that took place late Saturday, local time unnamed U.S. official city and major outlets such as the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times has placed the blame on Israel, the U.S. allies, and Iranians' top foe, which has neither accept nor deny any involvement. No other entity has come forward with the claim of responsibility. But the Biden administration halting efforts to revive the participation of the 2015 nuclear deal known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. Administration officials, including Secretary Anthony Blinken, has asserted every option remains on the table in ensuring that Tehran could not produce a nuclear weapon. And I believe uh, it was a recent discussion because uh, I believe Anthony Blinken met uh a representation of Israel, of them co having continuing uh, discussions on uh, how they're going to uh, find continuing ways to stop Iran from their nuclear capability. So, I, you know, I wanted to add a note to that as well, too. It says, every option remains on the table, ensuring that Tehran could not produce a nuclear weapon. Iran officials have not consistent. I mean, Iranian officials could have consistently denied pursuing such a weapons of mass destruction. Have warned that any military actions the U.S. takes will spark a larger escalation between the two powers. <laughs> it says, in Iran perspective, the use of military option at any level means U.S. entry into war. Iran permanent mission to the United States United uh, I mean to the United Nations told uh, Newsweek it says for now the mission noted Iran's considered such a possibility to be weak but the mission also stated that if the US miscalculates and start a war that's the consequence for the regional and the world of such conflict will be up to Washington. In the event such development, the mission assert that there is no doubt that Iran possessed the capability to defend its security and interests. The Iranian Ministry of Defense described the incident as an unsuccessful attack carried out by three small drones against one of the ministry's workshop complexes. One of the drones, which said to have been downed by a facility air defense, which two others were said to be exploded after being caught by other defense measures, 
unfortunately this unsuccessful attack did not cause any casualties or and only caused minor damage to the roof of the workshop which in God's grace the statement he had did not cause a disruption to the equipment and the operation of the conflicts the minister assured it that the actions of our center to produce power authority and security will continue to speed and seriousness and beyond that, blind actions will not have an impact on the continuing of the country's progress Iranian Hassan Amani I mean Hassan Amir Abdulin condemned the attack in a press conference. It says uh, following efforts by the enemies of Iran, a nation aiming to make <clears throat> Iran insecure in recent months. This cowardly act has been taken today, Amir Abdulin told reporters. Our country security will act the maximum potential to provide national security in the country such as actions must not affect the will and intent of our efforts to progress in the field of peaceful nuclear plans reached for comment a pentagon spokesperson told newsweek that we have seen the press reports but can confirm that no u.s military force have conducted strikes nor operation inside iran we continue to monitor the situation, but has nothing further to provide the spokesperson added. It says Army Major General Moore, spokesperson for the U.S. Central Command, also denied any Pentagon role in the event, telling Newsweek that the United States forces were not involved in the weekend strike in Iran. A spokesperson for the Israel Defense Force declined. Uh, Newsweek request to comment on the matter. And it says the IDF has regularly neither conformed nor denied conducting operations against Iran, most often in the third country, such as Syria, where yet another strike was reported Monday, resulting in what the UK based opposing led Syria observed human rights reported to be the death of the commander of an Iranian back militia and two of his companions. It was the third strike reported less than 24 hours in the eastern province of Deir Ezzar, which borders Iraq. And it says Newsweek recently reported uh on the IDS so-called war between wars, which includes a concerted efforts to target Iran's option, I mean operation in Syria, where Tehran has set to shore up air defense capabilities against foes such as Israel. Reports of Israeli action with Iran itself were less common. However, though, Israel has been accused for years of orchestrating a high-profile assassinations and subtle attempts on Iranian soil, mostly against individuals and sites ties to Iran's nuclear program. The latest unrest emerged as Blinken travels to the Middle East, where he met Monday with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. It says, our policy and my policy is to do everything within Israel's power to prevent Iran from acquiring nuclear weapons, and this means to deliver them and will remain so, Netanyahu. But obvious that fact that we and the United States are working together is something that is important to come and go. Blinken said that Biden administration agrees that Iran must never be allowed to acquire a nuclear weapon and added that he and the Israeli pr premier discussed deepening 
chemical operations to confront uh, counter Iran's destabilizing activities in the region, Salaki, and beyond. It says last week the two allies held their largest ever joint live fire exercise in Israel involving nearly uh, 18,000 troops along more than 140 aircraft including 5th generation fire jets and long range bombers and 12 navy vessels and a number of artillery systems such as the M1 M10 I mean M142 high nobility artillery rocket system the uh, HIMARS and it commented on Monday the top US diplomatic one to credit one to criticize Iran supply drones to Russia and the Kremlin continues to raise war on neighboring Ukraine which have received extensive assistance from the United States and NATO allies it says Tyran growing defense ties with Moscow along with the crackdown on nationwide protests gripping Islamic Republic since the death of the woman in police custody in September has been cited by U.S. officials as a particularly influenced the Biden administration to no longer focus on pursuing the diplomacy towards the revival of the uh, 2015 nuclear deal, which is the JCPOA. Uh, that's a long article, so... So yeah, wars and rumors of wars are definitely heating up. But in the meantime, I go to uh, I guess I couldn't find a third or a news article. Well, I was able to do two news articles, so. I was uh, able to finish those readings, but I wasn't going to read all the rest because it was, it was a very long news article. Uh, this is uh, Mark 13 and 7. And when ye should hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled for such things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. And this is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 8. And we'll read it again for edification's sake of this sit down lesson. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. It's big, you know. shall be famines and troubles and these are the beginning of sorrow uh, so lucky about that one minute pause uh, talk to my brother so yeah uh like i mentioned again you know uh brought out those scriptures uh the second time i read it again uh mark 13 and 7 and mark 13 and 8 so yeah uh as i brought out those two news articles and the reference to the scriptures that i brought out as well too so yeah, you're gonna see a continual increase of uh, wars and rumors of wars, because you've been having an increasing tensions between, you know, uh, Iran and Israel, which is growing even more and more. The hostility between those two nations, and then you got the, uh, then you got the United States against uh, Iran. Those tensions definitely particularly increasing as well too so you know we're definitely going to see a continuing increase of these nations having that hostility and those rumors of wars news of these nations got the hostility towards one another you know because you're going to have nations accusing one another on certain different things which has been definitely increasing. That's why the scriptures have stated in the latter days you'll still see a increase of uh, nations rising up against nations. And that's what we're definitely seeing. 
and it's definitely going to increase uh, more and more and more. The hostility between the nations, you know, is definitely going to increase, you know. And I believe that, uh, uh, I think it was, yeah, I think it was another news article that I wanted to bring out as well, too. It was recently as well. Oh, okay, here go, right here. Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. Yeah, this is the third news article. So, uh, yeah, like I mentioned before, you know, the uh, wars and rumors of wars are definitely heating up. Definitely with the uh, ongoing, uh, with the ongoing increased tensions, because, you know, uh, Japan, United States, and South Korea, you know, they got that strong alliance bond with one another. Uh, against North Korea in North Korea with its warnings they've been sending throughout last year and this year as well too so those tensions are definitely heightened and you know tensions are definitely heightened and increasing between these uh, nations and I'm read this news article this is from uh, uh, the hill and this is published by Brad dress uh, two hours ago and it reads, U.S. deploying more advanced weapons in response to North Korea threat. And it says the United States and South Korea have agreed to increase the scope and seize of live training drills to deteriorate North Korea. And American troops will be deploying more advanced weapons to its allies on the Korean Peninsula. So I guess this was a meeting that they had, uh, a defense ministerial meeting on January 31st between um, administrations of the United States and uh, South Korea. So there, there goes another one right there of the wars and rumors of wars are heating up. This is Luke chapter 21 verse 9 uh, Salakia I was bringing out another scripture it's kind of s- similar to it a uh, reference scripture of Matthew 24 6 and 7 <clears throat> uh, this is the book of Luke uh, 21 verse 9 but when ye should hear of wars and commotions, which, which we're hearing between the different nations, but that hostility towards one another, especially when it comes to um, uh, rumors of wars and military activity. It says, but when ye should hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. So, yeah, we're going to continue to hear these things uh, increase in regards to the hostility of these nations going against one another, you know. So, this is a, a continual increasing of buildup of the nations are rising up against one another. And we're definitely seeing the ongoing proxy wars and increasing of uh, hostility between the nations that can lead increasingly direct towards one towards one another and that's what we've been seeing and it's going to increase more and more and more you know so with that uh hopefully this sit down lesson was edifying of the news articles that i brought out and read and the scriptures that i read too in reference to those news articles that i read as well too and so with that i would like to give all praises and glory and honor too to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Aki, uh, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom.